members from the previous committee as co-chairs. Seems like that's how to me that could work. Um, so it's not heavy, heavy one way or the other. So I, I think that's logical. Right, so Chris made that motion. Is there support? I'll support that. Yes. Who calls that vote? <laughs> Is all those in favor say aye? Aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed? I guess we're sort of co-chairs. Um, the, the other position that's available is secretary. Um, not that we have to get that till today, but ideally we would. I know some committees, um, there's co-secretary people, or um, I've seen it also where it's rotated. And just to clarify, secretary, um, the minutes can be very brief because these meetings are recorded and now you know, thank, thank you, Jessica. Ours is being recorded now. Um, so you don't have to put down everything. But the only really critical thing is, you know, who, when the meeting was started, when it ends, you know, who is in attendance? Um, was there a quorum to have a meeting? If there's a vote of something, you know, we got to show that, you know, this, if there's a motion that was approved, those type of things, those are critical. During public comment, who, who spoke? <coughs> we don't need to put down you know, what they spoke about. This is really it because at the end of the day, the details are going to be in the recorded minutes. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do. So, you know, I know some people are like, oh, I don't have time. So, something to consider. Um, I hate nominating someone for a position <laughs> like that because some people are like, I really don't want to do it. So, I don't know, is there any volunteers at this point or we can? Probably leave it open to the next meeting too, because um, there is two vacancies or three vacancies um, that will potentially be filling in the next month or so. Yeah, three vacancies, one of which will be a board of trustees representatives. Okay. So, so if there's no not um, volunteers at this point, just keep it open um, to our next meeting. Chris. Um, they also, I'm the secretary for the, the planning commission, and it would be really, really helpful if they give you like a little cheat sheet. And if they could do something like that for each meeting that showed, you know, it says call to order, and you just fill in the time, what time it was dismissed, or who made the motions, and you kind of just fill in the blanks, it makes it really easy. So it might be something that if we could get like a little cheat sheet or something that you come in and it makes the secretarial job that much easier while you're taking notes and voting and trying to listen to what's going on. So I just throw that out there if we could have that something. That makes sense. Yeah. Could you share with us your the cheat sheet from the other committee? And that yeah, absolutely. I, I could get one. I'm sure uh, from Carlisle Wartman. They always provide me like a little cheat okay. sheet. You know, yeah. Doug Luan would be a great resource. Like, well, could you get us just? It's just like a one or two, depending on how many items are on the agenda. And it's really, really helpful as you go through the meeting. Right. It even gives you little sample motions and stuff. So the cheat sheets are great. Okay. <coughs> um, I guess the next thing we'll do then is, um, should we approve this agenda? Um, this was the agenda that was, a draft agenda that was submitted, sent out last week by Anna. Um, you did talk about adding the item of discussing potentially the four candidates, four or five candidates, mm -hmm. um, we can add that item if, if, if there's interest to do that. Yeah, so I'll clarify that yesterday in a staff meeting, um, we were instructed by a couple board of trustees members to add an item to our agenda, which is going over the applications of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven applications for two vacancies in the PPP committee. And so we can add that. Um, and then the idea is that we would vote and then come up with our nomination for the top two and then bring that to the board of trustees. And then it would be up to them to fill out this committee. Anna, I'm sorry, how many applications were there? One, two, three. Oh, sorry, this one goes together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six applications. There's three vacancies, one of which will be a board of trustees member, um, two of which will be from this applicant pool here. And those were the same ones that were sent previously? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm 
fine adding that to the agenda. Mm -hmm. There's a motion to add that to the agenda. There's support to do that. Modify the agenda, include that item. Yes, all support. Perfect. Yes. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 So we do have uh, revised agenda adopted. Um, item C is establishing the Zoom protocols. Um, anything on that? Yeah. Well, speaking of, does anyone in this room know how to help me get us back on this thing? Oh. <laughs> I may have made it worse. Okay, I think it's just worth saying again now that we have Zoom running. Um, it's, yeah, it's great to have meetings on Zoom. I love that it makes the meetings more accessible and it's not a necessity. And so that's why as a group, we can discuss today if we want to have Zoom be a feature and if not, and then I also think it's important to know that sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it's not. We were having network issues, which is completely out of my control. Um, yeah, so we're having that discussion as a group and then to like establish those protocols, how we're gonna do it publicly so everyone knows. Okay. Um, no, I guess, I think it makes sense. Um, obviously, like you said, some things are beyond or who's sitting behind that desk control because I've been sitting behind that desk before and sometimes I can't, you make I'm them sorry, all the right John, I do apologize for interrupting and I won't again, but I the camera's off. I don't know who's talking or who's making what points. I'd also check the Open Meetings Act very closely before you stop using uh, Zoom for, for your meetings. But right now I can't even see who's talking. It's, yes, I'm aware that the camera is off. I'm doing my best to turn it back on. We're having some technical issues with the network, so thanks for your patience. Okay, I mean, so no, I think yeah, um, I'm not an attorney, but yeah, and I think it just it opens up access to as many people as possible. So I think that's the goal. So I don't think you know we're trying to limit who can attend these meetings or watch these meetings. So I think that's you know. This is positive of COVID. That's one thing that seems like has come out of COVID that you know has provided access for more people um, to attend meetings or view meetings or be connected with events. You know, not in Sio, but all over. Um, so I think that's a positive. Um, but there are also some challenges when they don't work, and um, it puts a burden on the person sitting at that chair. <coughs> <coughs> Or whatever the challenges that they so I'll stop talking to others on Zoom. I think it is worth in some of the other subcommittees to developing sort of protocols as we move through the process. Um, so I think that's something policy procedures for um, different things, um, not necessarily Zoom, because I think we're going to have that, but just uh, there's other policies and procedures we want to do um, as far as how we run the meeting. Um, because we don't have to run the meeting exactly like um, the planning commission or the roads or whatever other committees. If we want to do something differently, we can. And um, if they should get the cameras back, thank you, Anna. So. Do I understand correctly that it's not necessary to run the Zoom though? I mean, it's sort of an option at this point? Or? My understanding, and I understand that there are different understandings present, um, is that it's a great accessibility option and it's not necessary. If someone does write in or contact Township Hall and say, for accessibility, I need Zoom to be present to get into the meeting, then it is, excuse me, then it is a necessity. Um, but it is up to us to decide if we're going to make that a feature of our meeting. I know for board, I mean, for board or for members to vote on the board, you had to be present. You couldn't participate via right. Zoom. Agreed. And that's why we would prefer everybody yeah. show up. Um, and we will have a pub public comment time mm -hmm. in a moment. Uh, but I think that if, if I, I don't want to be held hostage over technology when we come to these meetings, that's one reason I think that the Zoom thing is a wonderful option when we can get it to work, but I don't want to be crippled and sit here all night because we're wrestling with Zoom. I know that we really 
are not required necessarily to do it. And we can we can explore that more, but for now, I think we're gonna keep moving and, and I hope we stay with, <laughs> with everybody. We prefer to, so as long as we can make it happen. Can I share my thoughts over here? Sure. The reason I made sure that was on the agenda is because I've seen meetings just in the past six months where they can't get Zoom to work and so they don't start the meeting. Um, I think a good compromise, my perspective is to always try and have Zoom working as there are people with accessibility needs that want to log in from home, but to never delay a meeting from starting because we can't get Zoom working because like, yeah, sometimes out of our control. Um, my understanding is that that is allowed and I'm happy to triple check that and send it out to everybody. Why don't you just show up a few minutes early and get it working instead of showing up right when the meeting's supposed to start? We're not we, gonna, have we are not going to argue about this yeah, during we have this a meeting. Public Thank you. Section. I yeah. appreciate you being here and being involved. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we have a public comment section for that. Thank you. Okay, thanks. All right. Uh, item D, if we're done with that, is there any other discussion? <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. I, I would actually agree with what everyone has said around the table. You know, I, I would echo that, you know, the more public participation, the better. I'm absolutely supportive of this, the Zoom, but I've been here long enough for several <laughs> meetings that I, I agree that we shouldn't stop having meetings just because we have technological issues. It's not from a lack of trying or getting here early. It's more than some, we've all had problems with technology. I include no more than me. I can tell you that right now. So yeah, I, I would agree with that, that yes, Zoom is a great supplement. I hope we can have it for every meeting, but I wouldn't want to stop having meetings over not being able to, you know, have the Zoom. Did you want to say something, Heather? No, I am I completely agree with everybody saying, I think that, um, that yeah, again, it did, did the proper thing by getting us going. And, you know, we work on the technology stuff as we go do the best that we can. Uh, that if Zoom can be an option, you know, when, when it's available and it works, that's great. I mean, the freaking White House and the Pentagon have problems getting their meetings going and they have the top, supposedly the top people in the country working on it. So I think as long as people can be understanding that, you know, we're at the mercy of uh, at, at technology that, you know, that we do the best we can. And But I do think it's that uh, you are correct that COVID did actually bring, bring this out as being a good, you know, a good resource and uh, ways for everybody to be present even when they can't. So. Okay. Um, item D on the agenda is adoption of regular schedule, meeting schedule. Um, this one was scheduled for uh, 5.30 on the second Wednesday of the month. Um, one reason I think we moved it earlier in the day is because Anna is a full-time staff. If we do it later in the evening, She'd probably go home or do something in like a two hour window, then she'd come back. Um, so if it's convenient for us, we'd still stick with that schedule. So it'd be more like a continuation of her work day um, rather than having her have to go home and come back. Um, a lot of the other committees don't have full time staff on them that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. um, so that was that was one reason. And that was a meeting time for TAP too. And it worked out for the TAP committee. I think Parks was a seven o'clock or six o'clock or um, five thirty. Five thirty. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's that if this time is convenient for yourself and others, um, that's what we'd probably stick with. Um, unless it's four o'clock, right? Four, four, four to five thirty um, on the second. Wednesday of the month. Works for me. Okay. For the most part, the, this room's available, and generally there's not too many holidays on the second Wednesday of the month. So, okay, we'll do that. Um, do we want to go to public comment, or do we want to go into the resumes? We didn't really say where we're going to put reviewing the applicants on the agenda. Is that what you mean? Let's go into the resumes and then end with public comment. Okay. How does that sound? Right. Because as we get into this, you know, I've been on quite a few different committees. I've never been asked to do this task. And so I did get the information, you know, today, looked at it, and it's, it's a little challenging because some people wrote a letter 
other people just put their, you know, filled in the basic information, which was name, address, and where they lived, and they want to be on this committee. So, um, and I really don't know any, maybe oh, one of the committee members I did work with on another subcommittee, um, but for most of I really don't know them. So personally, it's going to be a little bit tricky comparing someone that's put in reason why with a letter and a resume versus the person that put in their name and address. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah. I would say what they're going to get lower on the list versus the person that spent the extra time, and I'm not sure um, you know, what our criteria is. Um, so you know, that's my two cents. Um, like I said, I've done this before. End of the day, township four one C's positions. So whatever you say, you can make these people one two five. And two, and two. Unusual thing to have a committee, newly formed committee. Well, we, we are sort of an advisory. <coughs> we probably we can go over our charge at some point, but you know, everything that we suggest goes to the board for approval. So, what we did as a board when we had some. Uh, openings and there were several candidates. Was um, uh, Mark, one of the uh, the board members, actually suggested that we do a template where everybody just chose their top two uh, candidates. Mm -hmm. That way, you don't you know you don't have to rate everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just wrote it down and then we arrived at a consensus for the for the top two candidates. You know, if that was the majority of the votes. Those were the ones that we we passed along to, that we voted on actually. And so that makes a lot of sense. I don't know if others have done a similar type process, or are we agreeing that, that might be a good process? Yeah. Kind sure, of like that. So someone would ask who are your top two. Yes. Everyone says, and then yeah. the top two from those top two. And then you just vote, and whoever gets the, the most votes would be the ones that were passed along to the board. Mm -hmm. That way you're not really in a situation where you're okay. evaluating everybody, and uh, you know, hopefully there wouldn't be any, any hard feelings involved. So, I'm passing out all of the uh, application information we have on each applicant. Some of them applied on the website, some of them applied via email, but you do have all of the information that was sent in on each applicant. And um, we do have the um, application here for uh, Charles. I don't know how to say his name. Is it Barberry? Uh huh. Um, and I know I'm. I'm fairly certain that he wrote in and said wrote to Will and said that he could not get here for the meetings, so he he took himself back out. Okay. So unless we change the time of meetings, but I think we have enough applicants to still which person was that? Um, I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, Charles Barbieri. So he, at the time, is this time, this does not work for him? This time does not work for him, so he just <coughs> he moved himself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is Thomas R. Morris? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And, and one thing I want to say is um, when I came on, um, my application went to Bryce, who is, um, he sort of vetted the applications from what I could tell, and then the board of trustees made the approvals, the decisions. But um, I talked to, to him uh, at least once or twice, and, um, and then I was appointed, of course, by the board. But um, what they were looking for when I 
what makes sense is um, having people that have some kind of uh, some something to bring to the table. So if they have some experience or, or um, experience in some aspect of what, what it is we're doing, that's helpful. So that would probably help in their ranking for this particular committee. I agree. I think, yeah, like, yeah, have, have, having great ideas is excellent, but having some experience executing is a whole other ball game. Can I double check here that everyone has Julia Beer's application? I might have printed an extra of that one. Yeah. Okay. We have her letter. Um, yeah. Great. So I have five applicants, is that correct? We have Julia Beer, Steve Hurt, Charles Barbieri, Robert Grodin. We have... It's the same thing, isn't it? Thomas Morris. Let me look at my list. Yeah, Morris. You guys just have five. Five, I think we only need Well, if there were six, and then two. And he didn't have a. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So potentially we have five. But Charles is taking his, his name out of the list, running his this time. <coughs> hey, Rita, may I ask when you got that information about Charles's application? Uh, it was um, it was an email that we got from Will. Um, Send a, a string of emails from Will. Got it. Yeah. Did you find it? Yeah, I think it might be fair to include him in our vote if he is one of your top two to include him. So okay. we're not taking him out okay. based on his time. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Okay. So we do have five applicants. Okay. We have, yeah, Morris, Barbieri, Grodin, Beer, and Hurt. Yes. Oh, that's get a little bit of time before the meeting to review them. First question, did, did you get a chance to look at them? If not, we have time now to look at them. I don't want to... I know we just got them later this afternoon, earlier this afternoon. Um, we want to take, you know, some time to review. Um, some of them are pretty basic. Mm -hmm. So we'll not actually submit letters. Um, I don't know. What's the pleasure of the committee to take some time reviewing them or have you taken the time to look at them? Uh, does anyone here need time to review or? I could probably use a couple of minutes. I'm just reading yeah. it over right now. So okay. I apologize. But. Just in the sake of fairness, I want to double check that everyone got Julia Beer's application. Maybe I printed an extra. Did you say no? Oh, I got it. Oh, Great. I have three sheets for Julia. Right? Yeah, there's two different letters, I think, oh, um, from her. Oh, right. One was a letter and one was uh, um, yeah. a resume, a letter. Oh, a resume, a letter. I have an extra letter here. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. This is a full application now. So let's see. Yeah, let's take a couple minutes.
the two of these, I don't know if you have on that. You want to go around the table and yeah, what, what I think was your process? You just went around the table and just used a whiteboard. Yeah, maybe yeah. we can go around the table on each. They are up two, and I can tally them. Sure. And do you want to start reading? Or do you want to start Heather? I don't care. Yeah. Or we can start and go around. It doesn't matter. I'll start. That's fine. Um, uh, Mr. Hurd and Mr. Morris. Actually, wait one moment here. Yeah. 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 Um, also, if I can just take one moment to say it's awesome that we had so many applicants mm -hmm. and they would all be awesome additions. Mm -hmm. And I hope if they don't join us now, they'll like still be engaged and maybe join in the future. Yeah, we may need people. I'll go next. We'll just go sort of around this way. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, it's Steve Hurt and Thomas Morris is my two candidates. Those are my two choices, too. I, I think they both uh, bring a lot and uh, were very uh, descriptive in, in uh, their backgrounds and what they can bring to the group. I think that's a good choice. Sound like a broken record. I, I went with her, and uh, uh, it's a Morris. Yeah, no, Kurt Morris. Same, Morris. <laughs> Great. Yeah, thanks to everyone that applied. I mean, at the end of the day, they put information in their letters about why they're interested in versus people that just put information. So it's hard to get a feel for people. Well, some people are, are interested in, and, you know, we, we probably will, we will need people in the future. Um, but I think the, the best way to do this is to, to choose applicants and that really, really have something that they're bringing to us and both of 
these people really did give us information that really stood out that says this is what I can bring. Yeah, someone volunteered already on different committees. Mm -hmm. and others that we know. So I guess we just then share this information. You'll share this information with the uh, board. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we really don't need to take a motion. We'll just share this information because really it's informational. Yeah. Not like we paid past what that motion right we just informally support the okay. okay. That sounds good. Okay. Anything else before we move on to um, one other thing I did have is um, I did find this map. Um, it is an older version. Um, so I think at the next meeting would be helpful to get um, have Chris give us an updated map. Um, I guess I'm a map person, but it is helpful just to see, you know, what has been developed, you know, and what, what are sort of goals. Because here again, you know, we're not starting at ground zero. This has been in process for a long time. Shows all the reserves, shows a different, you know, there's other you know, public land in this side of township. You know, we have metro parks and other land available, open space um, land, and how we're trying to, you know, connect these together and develop the parks. Um, so I, I just happened to be going through my files and I found this was the 2019 version, which it does have this Honey Creek thing that has been taken off. Um, so I didn't. Yeah, this is the old version, but I'm not sure if Heather, you've seen this, but I just, you know, I have, so I just made a couple copies in one half. I mean, you guys probably have seen this, but we'll ask Chris the next meeting if he can get us updated, because I think it's always helpful to have that background, because when we're talking about projects, if it's a project over, you know, off of Baker Road, or if it's off of Marshall Road, or if it's off of whatever road, you can look at it, it's like, oh, that's near that preserve, or that's near that park, or, you know, oh, that was actually a plan pathway or trail that would connect those to those. Um, so I think, um, so maybe if you can ask Chris Nordstrom for the next meeting, bring the updated version of this. Um, I think it's really useful to, as we're trying to visualize things that we're doing. Um, so um, with that, anything else that people have? So at this point, I guess we'll open up the public comments. Um, we didn't really set, I guess, generally, three or five minutes, we'll go five minutes. Generally, we'd start here, here, people here that are here, and then we'd open it up to people that are on Zoom. So at this point, if anyone would like to provide public comment, please, if you really don't have a chair, I can set a chair up if you'd like, or you can stand, whatever you prefer. Um, you know, here. I'm not gonna be on camera anyway. <laughs> um, this, uh, these committees have typically had public comments at the beginning. Can you introduce yourself? Oh, sure. I'm sorry. I should have. Thank you. Sorry. Um, Kathleen Brandt, SIO resident. Um, but these committees and all committees typically have public comment at the beginning, and the Parks Committee had it at the beginning, and TAP had it at the beginning. So, curious who made the decision to move it to the end? We did it. <laughs> we did it tonight. tonight. <laughs> so, and you're, it. you're going to keep doing that? Making the agenda? Keep the public comments at the end. Potentially. I just made the agenda and uh, just, I guess we'll see how it flows and if we want to change it. I don't think it's been decided change. yet. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we're just taking public comments. Really, we don't have an interaction. Well, I'm just giving feedback. No, that's fine. So okay. would you like that feedback? Yeah, we're, we're, I'm saying we're not here to answer questions back and forth. Right? But would you like my feedback, or do yes, you just want would. to move it on? But because you're asking questions, yeah. and we haven't decided yeah. on the public comment. So I'm giving feedback, right? Okay. I'm giving feedback. Okay. Um, <laughs> the last TAP meeting, um, I wanted to ask a question to Anna Cohn, and Mr. Townsend made up a rule that the public can't ask a question. But the prior meeting, he'd let um, Rob Pattinson ask a question. And I challenged him on it. He said, well, Rob was asking about Zoom. And it's like, Roy, you didn't know that when you gave him permission. You didn't know what his question was. So feeling a little bit like there's a problem communicating, interacting with the public, 
This is the only committee that acts like that. Other committees are very interactive. Um, now you've stifled Zoom. That seems a little untoward. Um, and I don't think you can do that because there is the accommodation for the ADA, which I just sent another request to the board for accommodation for all meetings. So that sort of puts that aside. Um, one last thing. Um, I had applied for the TAP committee. I had applied for that at their last meeting. I did it during when I was sitting in this room, and I did it via the SIO webpage. So there's a record of that. There is a bona fide record of that. Um, but my name wasn't put forth. I'll tell you the truth. I expected that. I expected that you would not want my voice on this committee. And why do I expect that? Because I don't think you want critical feedback and that the public, the residents, the taxpayers are watching how our tax dollars are being spent. So it would be easier to stifle comments, put them at the end, don't present all of the applicants, um, don't let people ask questions. Don't be interactive. Um, so don't know why you did that. Mr. Hathaway certainly had that application. It's went online. All of the board members got it. So very disappointed. Um, I'll survive. Uh, and also I'm disappointed that you didn't try harder to get Zoom up and running. I agree with uh, somebody online that uh, you could come in early, start the Zoom. It's not rocket science. Uh, when I conducted meetings in the business world, I always came in early, made sure all my technology worked because I was conducting the meeting. And of course, we have to use the technology. It's there for a reason. Let's not go back into the dark ages. Thank you. Can I respond to the application? Sure. Question. Just, I just want to clarify that I pulled all of these documents off of the website, and I did pull everyone that had applied on the website. And I'm happy to talk further after the meeting. I'm sorry that happened. Hi, Pat Stein, long time resident, almost half a century. So I would tell Jim. I just had two questions. Um, the drawing that you talked about. Did, Chris is going to update for the next meeting? He's talking Chris. about the Chris Nordstrom. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's okay. there, he's there to consult with So um, can it be uploaded with your agenda and minutes before your next meeting when you upload your new agenda? Can you upload that as well for the rest of us to have you access to? <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> it's, it's a drawing from the, the pros plan, but yeah. We'll, no, what you have there could just be scanned. But the, right. the pros plan um, is, it, well, it's it's, this is turning into a big discussion now. It's, it's um, yeah, it's up, it's on the website, the pros plan. So oh, it is, that very drawing is on the website. Well, it should be well, the updated old version, one. But this is the old one. And then the new version will be on Sia's website. A good request. Yes. I mean, Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. And the other question I have is, the title of this meeting, the agenda didn't match what was on the Sia website. So is it parks and recreation or is it parks, pathways, and preserve? And the reason I ask is I know parks and recreation is the title of the job you hold with Washington County, Roy. So is that, um, does that have anything to do with it? Is that one of the projects you're managing? Oh, you're not. I didn't, I didn't create this agenda, so I don't, I don't, you know, I think it was just oh. an oversight. I think it was a cut and paste from previous. So project. the name of this meeting is? Parks, Pathways, Preserves. And preserves. So it has nothing to do with project, man, project, Parks and Pathways as a Washtenaw County employee. Got it. Thank you. Other members from the public? Well, my name is Tom Morris. I'm one of the applicants for the position on the committee, and I just wanted to introduce myself. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, my name is Steve Hurd. I'm one of the uh, that's on the uh, to be on the committee, and um, it's a very exciting time to uh, to be in Iowa. I believe there's uh, um, so much land acquired and so much to do with it, and uh, uh, I thank you for your consideration. <laughs> Attending. Yeah. Anyone else from the public? Public comment? All right, thank you. Do we have people on Zoom that raise their hand to do public comment? Well, let's give them a chance. Any Zoom people? Okay. Um, both have hand up. Jonathan, would you like to share? And then Rob, after that. Um, I would like to share. Thank you. Um, I guess um, what I'd like to point out is that I think the negative reaction from the public uh, wasn't because it started late or wasn't because you started before uh, Zoom was up and running. I think my objection, at least, is to the idea that uh, two, two, two things that I heard put forth. One, one that it's hard, um, that, you know, Zoom is unreliable and it's difficult to operate. And I, I, I disagree with that strongly. Um, and the other thing I, I heard was that this isn't really a priority. You don't really care if the public is aware of what you're doing and you know, will wait till the end to listen to us. Hopefully people drop off. I don't know. It just sends a bad message to your desire to engage with the public. It has very little to do with the specifics. <laughs> it had very little to do with the specifics of the Zoom instance. It also felt very amateurish and mediocre to say, well, the White House or the Pentagon has trouble with communication, so we should expect it too. Um, those are just excuses, and it, we should be better than that. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. To Rob Patterson. To respond. Let's we'll see if there's any other. Any any other? Anna. No, those were the two with hands up. There is extra time. I'm fine to. What? Okay, I'll I'll go ahead. to that. Um, uh, Rob, we we were having trouble with Zoom, and uh, we decided to just move on because what we were doing was not. Um, making any huge, well, it wasn't huge decisions. We did introduce ourselves and uh, we did talk about who might be the chairs and who would be the secretary. Um, we decided on not appointing a secretary this time. I've been taking notes, so I'll just do that this time. But we have uh, probably, we have a couple other people that are be joining us. And so we'll approach that 
at our next meeting and make a decision on who will be the secretary. Um, and we did, for the most part, just introduce ourselves to each other. So. Oh, and <laughs> Rob and I are the co-chairs. Roy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, Rob, you're a co-chair. No, Roy and I are the co-chairs. Um, since Roy came from uh, TAP and I came from Parks Advisory Board, we thought it might be um, good to start out this way, at least for the first year, uh, since we'll sort of be representing representing those two um, former committees. So what else? What am I missing? I think that's all. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Rita. Thank you. Anything else? I look forward to our next meeting. I think it'll be great to fill out the committee. We'll have those great two members and then hopefully a BOT member as well. We can really dig into the pros plan and get everyone up to speed. And thanks, Tom and Steve, for coming in and introducing yourselves. Okay. Just to be clear, we, we, we make a recommendation to the touch a board that makes the appointment. Yeah, the board. So, and that's been on my first page. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's right. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so is there, a, that, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Yeah, I would support that. Right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So five of <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah, um, if I may, you, the meeting's supposed to last till five thirty. You really had time to reintroduce yourself to everybody that's on Zoom. I'm sorry you didn't take that opportunity. It would have been nice for everyone watching, everyone to tune in to know who you are and what you have to offer. Like Rob said, you're going to be dealing with a lot of money, but it's too late now. You adjourn. But I